let's determine what the equivalent number of minutes would be in two days of time. So we want to convert from the unit of measurement days into the unit of measurement minutes. So we need to think of some equivalences. Days. I don't know how many minutes are in a day. The one equivalence I know is that one day is equal to 24 hours. Oh, but that's okay because one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So again, Washington Courthouse to Hillsboro, Hillsboro to Wilmington. See, I want to get from Washington Courthouse to Wilmington. There's no direct route. So I'll go first to Hillsboro, and then I can go from Hillsboro to Wilmington. So this is going to take two conversion fractions, one to turn the days into hours, one to turn the hours into minutes. So I want the days to go away, so that will need to go in the bottom, and I'll have hours on the top. Then I'll put in a conversion fraction that will make the hours go away and leave minutes in the numerator. So one goes with day when 24 goes with hours. One goes with hours when 60 goes with minutes. And so the days cancel, the hours cancel, and we're left with the unit of measure minutes, which is the unit of measure we wanted. And 2 times 24, I think I can do that one in my head, that's 48. And 48 times 60, 0 times 8 is 0, 0 times 4 is 0. 6 times 8 is 48, 8 and carry the 4, 4 times 6 is 24, and 4 is 28. So, two days is equivalent to 2,880 minutes. So, two days of time, in those two days of time, 2,280 minutes tick off the clock. Those are equivalent amounts of time. And again, we use this process called dimensional analysis to make that conversion.